Oh, jeez. This is cool. Oh my god, it's got that new gadget smell. What is this? What the heck is this? Welcome to another episode, Jason. What do you think we have today? It's uh, very light. All right, let's begin. Oh, it's it's a mouse pad. Oh my god. Guys, I have this exact mouse pad at home. So you Damn. know all about this. Yeah, Dude. same size, same everything. Yeah. I was actually really surprised when I opened it too. It was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And it was a really pleasant surprise. My keyboard's on my mouse pad and then my mouse is off to the side over here. And the only reason I do that is because I like having extra space to move around. Previously, like I had to go to a regular mouse pad. I would constantly move off of the mouse pad. So that's why I went with an extended gaming mouse pad. What do you feel about mouse pads? Is it necessary? Do you need it as a gamer? Yeah, you know, some people game with uh, no mouse pads, so they like, do it on hard surface, like the table here. I feel like it doesn't uh, register as well, I guess. For me personally, I always need a mouse pad. Some people get really small mouse pads too, like they, I guess they have really high sensitivity or whatnot. But at the end of the day, I think, at least personally as a gamer, I think like everyone should have a mouse pad, small or big, whatever your preference is. Like, I, let's say like my desk is like here, I'm not sure you can see. If I fall off this mouse pad, I'm basically off the desk. So like, <laughs> there's no way I would go further than the mouse pad. So that's why it's nice to have it extended mouse pad. Okay. What type of mouse do you have at home? Do you know? Pretty sure I have a laser one. Yeah. A laser one? The soft mouse pads, although they're really nice and soft, they actually have a little bit more friction than the oh, hard top. Okay. That just implies that the harder surface mouse pads uh, allow the mice to glide across. Oh, I see. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Man, so, so theoretically, this one should perform uh, not as well as a hard surface mouse pad. But remember, this depends on what mouse you test it on, okay. right? So if you have a laser mouse, it would work better on a hard surface. If you have an optical mouse, it works in theory on both. It doesn't matter. Today, we're actually going to be using two a Razer Mamba that okay. has two types of lasers. It's a dual system. It has both optical and laser. Are we ready to try this thing out? Yeah, that actually sounds cool. Okay, All we'll right, test it out. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> so with the highest sensitivity, like I'm just going to move my mouse like that much and I already get to the edge of the screen. So you can see like, there's no way you can fall off with a nice mouse pad like this, right? That's as much as I'll probably be moving in game. So it's just nice to have a mouse pad that covers like all the area there. Feels pretty precise on my end, like so like a full 360 with my character. Like you're definitely not falling off this mouse pad. The soft surface is also like really comfortable on my like you can see the end of my wrist here. It's I guess like if it was a hard surface mouse pad that could be just un like uncomfortable, but thanks thankfully like it's a soft fabric. It doesn't like distract me or make me uncomfortable. In a game like Fortnite, you have to constantly move around and look around, looting in one area and then rotating all the way other to another area. Oh, he hit me for quite a bit. Oh man, he's good. Oh my god, I killed one. Yeah, I killed them both. Let's get it. This stroller. <laughs> I will escape. A hunting rifle. No, I got sniped too. What? <laughs> oh, for all the way up here. You know, like I when I bought this mouse pad, I already thought it was like a premium mouse pad that I was buying. So I'm pretty surprised to see what's the next one's gonna be. This is nine dollars. Oh, okay. I bought it for like twelve, I think, or something like that. So it's got cheaper than that when I used to buy. <laughs> Oh, I hit him twice. That's TSM Daquan. Holy shit, that's the streamer that's TSM Daquan. <laughs> oh, I almost killed him. Damn. Wait, is that him? Oh, no, no, no. It's a, it's an imposter. His name has a underscore there. I used to play this game a lot more when I was trying to like practice league, I guess. It's a more fun way than just like practicing in the game and like, let's place a ward here, let's place a ward there. For league anyways, yeah. Is the song done? Yeah, okay. We're rank B, yeah. but the mouse pad gets an A. The mouse pad <laughs> gets an A. Okay, this is cool. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, okay. get ready. Oh, so there's shit. gonna be targets that pop up and you're gonna have to try and shoot them as fast as you can. Oh if you just spam click it turns to zero anyways. Oh my eighty two percent accuracy. And your average hit time was that. Oh okay. okay, that's pretty good. Damn, I was just practicing though. I didn't yeah. I didn't try it. We can go uh, another round. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, a hundred percent targets oh. hit. There you go. That's my score. That's, so, what are some pros of this particular mouse pad? 
What's really cool is the enlarged space. Like this amount of space you won't get from any other mouse pad and it's just really nice to have. Are there any cons for this mouse pad? There's this one tag thing I was saying. It's pretty picky, but like it rests right under the mouse pad. So like whenever I'm like feeling it, how smooth it is. It's like a little rough edge there. It's pretty bulky when you gotta carry it around from place to place. It becomes like the size of a water bottle. And you know, that could be pretty spacious in a backpack or anything that you're carrying in. And like, I got it for like 12 bucks. You guys said you got it for nine bucks, right? Yeah, this is like a hell of a deal. I was willing to pay three times that for the enlargement. Anything more than that, like if it's more expensive than 30 bucks, I'm expecting like next level stuff. I don't know like what else could be, but like, I don't know, maybe it like lights up or something, oh, something like that. Okay. Who knows? Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for an enlarged mouse pad like this, I was expecting anywhere between 25 to 30 bucks. Yeah. Jeez, this is huge. You thought that was big. This one looked even bigger. Corsair. Jeez. If the mouse pad's this big, it's so big. What the heck? It's a larger mouse pad. It's not an extended mouse pad, but rather like a large surface area mouse pad. It comes in an actual box. Like most mouse pads come in just like a little uh, cylinder or something like that. There's one. <laughs> this is taking some time. We're getting there. Oh, there's the beast. Oh my god, there's like wires and stuff for this too. Jeez. Comes in like a mold. Okay. Oh my god. Holy crap. It's like so like big. Like I'm only touching the lens of the top of the camera. Like. <laughs> oh my god, it's got that new gadget smell. You can't <laughs> smell it, but it has it. Wait, why do you have a lightning cable? What the heck? You can charge your phone, I think. Yeah, there's a USB port and like there's a micro USB to lightning adapter and a, a micro USB to a type C adapter. What the hell? You can charge your own phone with this? What is this? What the heck is this? You have two USBs to power it. What the heck? I guess one powers the jack, one powers the mouse pad, I'm guessing. Uh, there's a manual inside. Wireless charging mouse pad. So could it charge my phone even? I yeah, what the heck? This is like very techy. Can you give a rough estimate? I'm thinking it's a uh, hmm, hundred and twenty dollars. Ooh, hundred and twenty. Yeah. And what I makes think, you think that? Is it the fact uh, that you're combining a high-end mouse pad and the wireless charging, and yeah. or is it just because it seems so premium that? Because uh, the well, pack? other than the large, like it's got like wireless charging capabilities. You got charging ports. There's just like there's this remote thing. I don't even know what it does yet, or I don't even know it's a remote, but like. It's got a lot of gadgety things and um, I'm just thinking like on its own a wireless charger would be like about 60 bucks and then you add like 40 bucks for the key mouse pad. It's a very uh, mathematical approach. <laughs> Am I close? <laughs> I tell you that this is actually $80. It's cheaper than what I thought, okay. Jeez. But what do you think of it as a mouse pad though? As a mouse pad? Honestly, that's not that bad. Like yeah, really? that's not that bad, yeah. I was expecting it to be 100 50 bucks up towards there for high-end like mouse pad, but I guess yeah I guess it's just a mouse pad. It can't be more than a hundred bucks or maybe it's just me Yeah, if I spill a drink or something this would be easier to clean than that one But it's got like electronics and shit in there. But the bottom is like like it's very uh, it's like rubber It's not even like the other one was soft fabric, but it's like oh, it's probably just like make sure it's sturdy and stable on the desk Damn, it's a beast. I want to try it actually. What does this do? We bought the manual just in case we uh, don't know how to do this, but uh, yeah. Like if you just turn it over like that, something like that. Oh! Oh! Oh, you're right! Okay, as long as it's in the circle on the mouse pad, it charges my phone. Wait, but do you even need this then? Wireless. Oh! No, okay! Holy it's a wireless charging dude. pad. Damn. Damn. Oh, and if you can't wirelessly charge, then you use this thing. Yeah, that flashing light shows me that it's charging my phone. Ooh. Damn. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, if your mouse supports a wireless charging, it charges your mouse as well. What? So we could charge my phone. Okay. But uh, just don't knock your phone off the table. <laughs> <laughs> you still got quite a bit of space. Like, yeah, like I literally just have to move that much of the mouse pad. Yeah, I'm actually kind of worried though. Sometimes like I, I get nervous. Like, what are you like rage or something? You go, <laughs> <laughs> your phone just goes flying. Yeah. 
94% and 100% hits. I was not scared of my phone at all. Actually, like I barely use it. I felt like I used this much space. The hard surface responds, like it reacts faster. Like it's more sensitive for some reason. One thing I have to mention though, is like the wrist support on the, the soft mouse pad. It's much more comfortable than this one. Like this one feels really hard and rigid and, it, and that's a little uncomfortable. So it could be uncomfortable for some people. Damn. And look, my phone's already at 26%. I was charging at 19. So while we're playing, it charged 7%. Oh yeah, okay, it charges through my case too. So I guess my value for this mouse pad is like 40 bucks on the wireless charging and then 40 bucks for the mouse pad. And that seems reasonable to me. Yeah, I might actually pick this up, honestly. It's, but I mean, I guess if you don't really need to charge your phone, there's no need, but it's super cool. And yeah, you notice like it's barely moved at all. Me like lightly pushing right now, see it's not moving at all. So it's, well, now, it makes sense now. Like you don't want your phone like flying off to the yeah. side, I guess. <laughs> Yo, I want to get a golf cart. Like, apparently that's a new thing. You can drive. Oh, there's a golf cart there. Okay. Everyone's going after it. Oh, just get me out of here. No, I don't want to be a passenger. Be a driver. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is cool. I never got to a golf cart yet, so I'll just drive out of here. Oh, he has a gun. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh, shoot. You can run things. You can run. Wait, what? What is me? Get me out! <laughs> what? I just like sitting ducks for these games. <laughs> oh, I hit him for 85. It's not good. Yeah, let's get it. Top 16. Oh, we're still in there. Oh, shit. Oh, get me out of here. Oh. Imagine if that shot hit. That would be a clean shot. Let's fight it out, man. I'm just a boy. What? Where from? No, it's all my stuff. Okay, hey. so how was it? Oh, this was sweet. It was a total different experience than the Magic Eagle. A hard surface gave me a more precise feedback. Like I could feel all the movements. It felt like accurate and precise, I guess. What are some pros about this Corsair MM1000 mousepad? Uh, some pros, so you can charge your phone on the side if you need to. Um, if you have a wireless mouse, you can charge your mouse while you're not playing too. It's pretty cool. The performance was great. Like it felt much more responsive when it was uh, moving around and aiming and all that. You get like a direct feedback with the noise. Like you. You can hear it like moving around on that thing. Some cons though, it's not foldable. It's, this is bulkier than the Magic Eagle. Um, so it's pretty big and hefty to carry around. You need two jacks to power it. I didn't even realize that, but yeah, you need two USB ports plugged in. You got some dongles and some nifty cool stuff like that. It's all for the purpose of just wireless to be charging. It kind of feels like a unnecessary luxury. I will have to say that I did like it. <laughs> the main differences between these two mouse packs. Yeah, so main differences is just uh, this one, all it does is have a, gives you more space. This one gives you a little more things. So it gives you a hard surface mouse pad. It gives you a, a larger space like, like that too, but not as uh, wide. You get the wireless charging function. That's the main difference you get there. You really just get a wireless charging function in my opinion i think that's about it oh there's a rubber feet on the bottom of this mouse pad for more stability i guess but other than that i can't really think of any other differences yeah what are you looking to get out of yeah. a mouse pad um i was just looking for a larger mouse pad so both give me that option this was a little larger a uh, wider i mean and the the mouse pad itself is very rigid sturdy and uh, it looks good this one's lasted me already four months uh, pretty nice too but performance wise i think this one uh, outperforms it yeah i mean at the end of the day what is your pick, Jason? Honestly, for 80 bucks, this one, I think I would leave with it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And I like the wireless charging factor. It's, it's something you wouldn't get from your average mouse pad. And the price isn't too absurd, in my opinion. Like 80 bucks, it's not that bad. It's only sounds bad because a mouse pad is usually only like $10 or something like that. But if I'm a gamer and I'm spending like, you know, 150 on my mouse, whatever, on my headset and all that stuff, like 80 bucks extra on a mouse pad like this is pretty cool to have. Like, and imagine like your friend's coming over and you go like, yo, check out my mouse pad. You know, that's pretty cool to have. So uh, yeah, I think uh, this round round, I have this one and I like it for the extension. But like I said earlier, like, man, I'll outsmart the system, man. I'll just do it like this and then have this here and you get the best of both worlds, an extended mouse pad and one that can charge too. Damn. That'd be sweet. Yeah.